<laughs> and this is our 2020 Pro Master, whose name is Hopper. Hop for short. Jim Hopper. And this is our van tour. I didn't really know what we were doing. No, that's good. There we go. Okay. And this is our van tour. It's 2020. It had 12,000 miles, very little. Um, we got it. And a few things that we really liked about it is that it has lots of windows um, on all sides. And in the back, it seats four, um, which was important to us because Alyssa is pregnant. And it has a few other highlights that we'll get into. So check it out. Welcome to Hop. I'll just hop on in here. Um, this is our first thing, entryway. And this is up here, kind of like our closet, I guess. It's where we keep our coats and our toques and also our toiletry bags, top kits. Um, and then also on this side is our nice bench box seat built by our friend Shane. It's very lovely and um, inside is where we keep our shoes and other gear. And on the other side is kind of like our tool bin. Um, and then we also have really great storage in this van, which we're really appreciative of. Um, these cabinets up top, as well as another set of cabinets above the bed. And then we have another box bench right here, just a little mini one is where we store our little uh, cassette toilet in there. And one thing that's awesome about the van, it really has a nice open feel because our both of our front seats swivel. <laughs> so you can sit here if you want. And we have this nice lagoon table as well. So both Mike and I can sit here and maybe play a game of Hanabi, which is like we like to play, or maybe eat our granola and yogurt in the morning. And it's also nice when you're standing here, maybe prepping food, which I'll talk about later. That's where we sit when we drive. <laughs> this van has seven windows on it, in it, in it, it's on it. And I decided to make window coverings myself because they're actually quite expensive to buy. And um, I had, you know, all the time in the world, but I made these window coverings out of Reflectix. So it's this reflective material to help insulate and um, also block out light. And then I put just like a nice canvas on the other side for the interior. So I'll show you how they connect on this guy here. Also both of these windows on our side, <coughs> they open up, um, which is pretty cool. We appreciate that. So anyway, to put these on, just have some magnets on the sides and they clip in like that, super easy. And we have those for all the windows. All the windows, which is awesome. I also made these seat cushions. They just, they're not attached or anything. We just kind of throw them on. So they're pretty easy to move around because to open the box and stuff, it's a lot easier. Um, and they're pretty cushy. Same material, matching. Just went for a neutral tan theme. <laughs> This is our kitchen. Uh, top cupboards are our food. And then over here we have our kettle and coffee supplies. And I'll show you our lovely isotherm fridge, which opens up like so. Pretty awesome, we love it. And then we have a nice large sink here with a water pump and two seven gallon tanks. So let's see that, let's water. see that baby purr. Yeah. It even has a spray function. And then we have basically nice, a lot of storage with different things inside, silverware, plates, and down here in the bottom we have things, bigger things, like our rice cooker, which we use for most of our meals, honestly. And that is our kitchen. This is our bed. It's a memory foam queen size mattress but it has been cut to the width of the van, which is basically perfectly 5'9", which Mike and I both are. And so we, we sleep this direction and it's just right. But we love this bed so much, it's very comfortable. And yeah, good and we, job. And we brought five pillows. We do have five pillows. I need a lot of pillows. 
Um, this is my closet where I keep my clothes. And over here is Mike's closet where he keeps his clothes. Uh oh, sock. Classic. <laughs> and this is our lovely bed. All right, the systems in our van. Um, we have one two, 200 watt solar panel on top of the van and it has been great so far. Um, and down here is where basically all the systems are hooked up in the van. Um, we have a solar charge controller here, um, which is always telling the, us the levels of things. There's a fuse box and we have this battery isolator. And then we have our battery, which you probably can't see, it's on the floor um, right down here. And one thing I love about the battery is that it charges from the solar, um, but it also charges off the alternator when we're driving. So if we do a bit of a drive, we know it's just gonna be fully charged when we get there. Also right here is the inverter has three plugs, um, USB on it. Um, so this has been really great. I also plugged my PA system into this and I'm excited to play um, a concert at the side of the van by just plugging into this. And then we have our chargers here. We have some lights on a dimmer. I wish it dimmed a little dimmer, but it's pretty good anyhow. And then here we have um, the remote for one of our Max Air fans. Um, so when you're in bed um, or when you're out here, you don't have to climb up to turn on. And then we've got a second Max Air fan um, right there. And Alyssa, I think, talked about um, our water tank, our two seven gallon water tanks down here, um, and our water pump. And those are basically the systems um, of our van, which we love, because they're a little bit covert, and they're a little bit stealthy. Or they allow us to be stealthy. Is it has a heater right down here, um, which is controlled by a little thermostat over there, so you can turn it on when you wake up. Um, and this heater, um, it is linked into the fuel tank, so there's no propane in our van. It's just linked into the, the fuel tank. All right, this is our garage in the back of the van. It is pretty full, because we're right now we're in here for um, three or four months for sure. Um, and we have a lot of music gear, because um, we're doing backyard van tour and playing shows backyards. And I'm also kind of writing and producing sometimes on the road as well. So most of the stuff here um, is music gear. Got a nice mic, I got two guitars, I got a PA system. Um, these are, we probably shouldn't take any of these chairs, they're a little too big, uh, but they're really comfortable. So we got some vinyls um, and stuff over here, and then we also have some extra water. We have our Coleman stove, and then we brought our two paddle boards, which they stand up. Um, they're inflatable paddle boards, um, but those will be really fun um, in the future when it gets a little bit warmer. And that is our garage area. As well as your golf clubs. Oh shoot, didn't, I was trying to avoid those. <laughs> but I'm gonna send those home after I go golfing in Palm Springs. <laughs> Thanks for watching our fan tour. Um, we're gonna finish off by letting you know about our favorite things, our unfavorite things, and our wish list. Um, so first, my um, favorite thing, one of my favorite things is that our van actually seats four um, people. It has two seats that can go here that are removable. Um, and this bench is also removable and it's attached um, by these, um, the same way the seats attach to the frame of the van. That's my favorite. My second favorite is that I like the stealthiness of this van um, that you can't really tell. Um, it's a total camper van. Doesn't have an awning and a and like a ladder. ladder and stuff like that or whatever. So I love stealthiness level nine. Oh, my unfavorite thing. Um, the, there's a lot of wood in this van. It looks good, um, but something like the um, what's this thing called? Counter. The countertop. Um, the countertop is a lot of wood and it's pretty thick. And I think that that is actually a little bit unnecessary. Same with our table. These benches actually are not too heavy and I like that, but I think there's a little too much wood. It's a little too heavy. Um, and that's that's my most unfavorite thing actually. And then my wish list, I would love um, to attach a table under the bed frame so we could both sit here and we could kind of do some work or... Um, share a meal. Share a meal. And we do have this chalkboard that sometimes I put under the bed and I put it here anyhow. Makeshift. And I uh, do a makeshift thing. Alyssa, what's your fave, unfave, and wish list? Fave, I love that it has a lot of windows because we get a lot of light in here and also the windows open so we get lots of air. And I also love that both front seats swivel so we can really open up the space as well. If I could change one thing, it would be that this uh, sink faucet was a little bit smaller because it's actually almost too big for the sink. And, my... and it like overshoots the sink sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and then my wish list. You just wish for peace and joy for all Earth. <laughs> so actually, I thought of two things. One thing I wish for is that the bed was a little bit lower so it'd be easier for me to get in and out of as a pregnant person. 
And I also do sort of wish that the sink had hot water. Oh, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> That's a luxurious thing. Thanks for watching our um, tour to our van, Hopper. Yep, high five. Hopper short. Jim Hopper. <laughs>